The adaptive bass can temporarily change the bass tuning of your instrument accurately in time. This is the core functionality of Scalebreaker because everything else had to be built around it to make it work. Although you can use the adaptive bass with any tuning system if you wish, it is essential to make just intonation tunings even usable in most situations. As a very short explanation, intervals in just intonation tunings are simple ratios and naturally perceived to be more in tune. For example, you can calculate the perfect fifth from any given frequency by multiplying it with 1.5. It's easy for our ears to hear when the two sound waves have this simple relationship. However, in the standard 12 tone equal temperament tuning that we're using almost exclusively in Western music, it's actually off by almost two cents. Now this doesn't seem like much, but it becomes clear in combination with specific processing. Here, I have an A major triad played with a simple sawtooth synthesizer. And here it is with a five limit, just intonation tuning. The difference of simple relationships between intervals also becomes clear when we add a lot of distortion. The reason why we're not using just intonation more frequently is because it has one big issue. Using the just intonation tuning straight up like this causes all notes to have simple relationships towards the bass note, which is an A in this example. But the relationship between the individual intervals are not always simple. And as a result of playing a chord with a different root note, it's likely to sound off. The standard 12 tone equal temperament tuning is, is a compromise, which results in every note to be equally out of tune, regardless of what you're playing. This is obviously great, as it's not practical to change the tuning of your guitar for every chord. But since we're making music on a computer, there are no limitations in this regard. Why not change the tuning for every single chord? And that's what the adaptive bass is doing. To use it, simply activate it right here at the bottom of the interface. And any incoming MIDI notes with the velocity of one will be filtered out and used to dictate a temporary bass note. So in this example, I can just take the root notes for these chords, duplicate them to any other octave and set their velocity to one. This way, you can write chord progressions in the MIDI editor and specify the bass notes at the same time. Additionally, any notes with a velocity of two will be placed on the second layer, thus creating an accumulative relationship between multiple bass notes. You can actually increase the amount of layers up to 15 using this control over here, which can be useful if certain jumps are too noticeable. Also, notes used for the adaptive bass can still use their pitch bend if you need to smoothly transition between bass notes. But at this point, it is usually better to use the freeze function specifically designed to morph between tunings and bass shifts. <laughs>